My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. I work on shallowing your club out. You go back nicely, but your first move is with your shoulders. And when you throw your right shoulder out towards the ball, your hands come out and the shaft gets too steep. So when the club is above the right shoulder, you're going to hit your pole. Now that means the club passed about six degrees to the left. We're going to use an external cue. What I want you to do is feel like you're playing baseball and you're throwing your hands to right field. Uh, you know, and the other thing is I want you to set up with your shoulder, your left shoulder at the ball, pointed at the ball. I'm sorry, not at the ball, at the target. So you're going to feel like your left shoulder, you, you get your shoulders a little bit open. Yeah, open, okay. Yeah. The other thing we're going to do is, you see where your hands are? Mm -hmm. Relative to the height of your hands, I would like, and I'm going to give you a drill, and this drill is going to be... You want them higher, right? No, I don't, oh, actually. Really? No, I want them lower oh. and deeper. Here's what I want. Oh, yeah, right, right. So here's, here's, here's how you got to envision this. It's pretty common, and it's, pretty, it's logical, and it makes sense. If your hands are close to your head, what I want you to envision is if your butt was against a wall, you're going to take your hands and touch the wall with your, with, the, with your hands, the back of the wall. So I want your hands in the corner of this triangle. Now, from there, your line of force will be here. From here, your line of force is going to be here. So, that's what we're going to change. Now, we're not changing the backswing takeaway, still going straight back. But from the straight back point, from here, I want your arm to swing in and across your body, more like a baseball swing, merry-go-round swing. Like a back. Yeah. I want you to think merry-go-round, not.